Hey everyone, Dave the Mantis here. And if you've been following my live streams of Outriders, which is due for release on the 1st of April, you'll know that I finally managed to actually get through all four classes up till level seven, uh, doing the main stories on each and also the side quests on each in my spare time. Um, the one thing that I'm struggling with though is to decide which character to play for my live streams going forward. So what I've decided to do is hold a bit of a poll if you want to have a say as to which class I'm going to play for my live streams, which will be every Friday, uh, then make sure to comment below. Uh, this poll as such is going to go up on Facebook as well. So if you are joined up with us on Facebook, make sure to comment there. I'll add it all up by the end of the week or at least uh, early next week. Start doing some research for the class that I'm going to play and maximize your viewing enjoyment. Let's hope. Okay, so just to give you an overview of the different characters that I've played through already, if you haven't watched the live stream. The first one I live streamed was the Devastator, whose powers are rock based. Very much a tank character, run in and stay in the battle. Uh, do as much damage as possible, close range. Uh, lots of fun to play, and I kind of thought that this was the character I was going to pick. However, then I started playing the other characters and became more and more uncertain as time went by. They're all good. The next one I played was the Trickster. All of his abilities are time-based. Uh, also very much a melee character, run in, but uh, also run out. Uh, not really stay in the battle as such, more go in, do a hell of a lot of damage, run out, recover armor and uh, health. Okay, so the third one I played, I don't know why I skipped Pyromancer first, anyway, went to the te Technomancer. Technomancer, his abilities are more ice-based. But he's a long range character, so think sniper rifles, assault rifles and the such. He can throw out different turrets, which will freeze enemies and shoot rockets, helping you in the middle of battle. Then the last one that I did was the Pyromancer. His abilities are fire based, very much a mid range character, can handle himself in uh, close range combat as well as long range, uh, but has a tendency to do a lot of damage to a lot of enemies at one time. So a lot of area of effect damage, all fire based. Uh, all four have got different healing mechanics. I'm not going to go into that now. But I would recommend if you want a little bit more of an informed decision to go back and watch my live streams of each and see which character you want me to play. Like I said before, just comment below and I'll add them all up and we can see who we're going to play starting from the release date of the 1st of April. That's a Thursday, so I'm going to be live streaming that that evening. Uh, and then from there, I'll be live streaming every single Friday beyond that. And yeah, at the end of the day, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Cheers.